Welcome to the 2019 SEMA show, the year of the Bronco. If this is your first time here, I have a YouTube channel that I work on my 1975 Ford Bronco, but today I am at SEMA and man, there are so many Broncos here. It is definitely just the year of the Bronco. I mean, I'm in this Ford booth that is like just honoring the Bronco. Like I'm standing in front of Big Ole and they have just all this heritage here of the classic Ford Broncos. But there's also a ton of Broncos here this year. so. Let's go around, let's check some of them out, let's talk to some people. Here we go. Bronco that he is co-driving for. Uh, tell me a little bit about this. This is a 1969 Ford Bronco that was originally uh, had some strop prep work done on it. We believe it was probably a pre-runner for the strop team back in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, it's owned by Sue Casinger of Casinger Racing. The truck was built by my good friend Andrew Norton at Baja Broncos Unlimited. He's also the chief driver. Um, I'm honored to spend a little bit of time in the driver's seat every year as well and then we have a team of great co-drivers that come along and drive with us. We, we go down every year. I think the first year we raced this truck was 2013. We finished the truck at midnight and drove to Ensenada and raced the next day and had zero problems. It's a great truck. It's very reliable. Andrew knows this thing inside and out and knows what it needs to survive and so um, we're, just, we're just honored to be down in Baja every year making Baja history. Super cool seeing people here like Todd and uh, you know hearing his story about racing in Baja but also man if you guys don't know Todd has a book uh, on the history of the Ford Bronco put a link in the description below where you can check that out but definitely check that out I mean just so many cool people here we are at the week to wheel and Bronco we got Mitch right here uh, he was here when this Bronco was put together this build everything you see here was pretty much done in five days. Paint and body, okay, obviously it was done before that. But the assembly of the rig was done in five days. But the, the dudes there were totally epic. The build team was totally insane and it was a super fun build and uh, the thing rips. So if you haven't checked out the video, make sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the description below where you can watch uh, Mitch, his behind the scenes of building this thing. It was pretty awesome. got to do the Max Slider Bronco, the four-door Clydesdale. It's stretched, it's four doors, and uh, it includes a ton of R&D that we've uh, completed with our partners at Blackbeard Broncos to really solve a lot of Bronco problems. We put four doors in it, made them, mod made them modular so you can remove them with a center post that comes off, and uh, you can run it completely roadster style with 700 horsepower with a Roush supercharged Coyote engine, and uh, dropped the floor out of it so that we could fit big people in the Bronco comfortably, which is important. 
and fun for the whole family. Rides amazing because it's on four link uh, suspension in front, three link in the rear with coilovers all the way around, and it just has a, a ride that you're not going to experience in a two door Bronco. All right, there. That is the U.S. Shift. Great company if you're doing like a 4R70W uh, swap or something like that. You definitely want one of those. So check them out. Uh, USShift.com. noisy here but I'm in the Roush booth standing in front of Gateway Broncos first Roush Bronco this is the world's first 10-speed automatic Bronco, all controlled by Ford Electronics. It has the Roush Cowdy 5-liter engine. It's a Gen 3 Cowdy 5-liter engine, and it has the Roush supercharger with the TVS technology inside. So one of the amazing Broncos that's like stuffed out in the corner, you guys might not have even seen it, is the Tom's Bronco parts. Uh, Bronco, Phil had a hand in putting this all together. This is Lonnie's Bronco and this thing is incredible. We started with this stock chassis, cut all the original suspension brackets off, started mocking up for the four link that we did under the back. It's a trailing arm setup, four link, with Bilstein coilovers on all four corners. The Coyote is a first gen from 11 to 14 Mustang, topped with a Roush supercharger, stage two, and it's got a 6R80 from an F-150 behind it with an Atlas transfer case. Center console was custom built. I did that on my off hours at home, building the console for it. We are gonna start offering uh, the suspension. The front radius arms are now gonna be a tubular DOM design with a Heim on the back. Um, the rear four-link suspension, I'm hoping 2020 will have set up to go for the customer. Uh, we might have it set up with coil springs or coil overs, and that might even be up just to the discretion of the customer buying it, whether they want to run either or, or purchase either or by themselves. The bracket that was developed as we were doing the build, the radiator for the Coyote setup, that was built. So all these new pieces will be eventually, you know, hopefully 2020 will be out for the consumer to buy when they're doing their coyote spot. is the SEMA show. Those are all the Broncos. I know that I miss some. I'm sorry if I miss your Bronco. There's nothing personal about it. It was just crazy busy and there's so many Broncos around. But it was pretty amazing. I mean, Jay Leno's Bronco and like just the way that Ford was just honoring the heritage of the racing Broncos and stuff like that. And it's, you know, it's obvious. It's because that uh, Bronco R has come out, the race Bronco. And it's pretty amazing, but uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.